Hello everyone, today's topic is control flow. In control flow, we'll deal about input, type, print functions, if statement, while loop, range sequence, ternary operator, for loop, pattern examples, raw input, range, print functions in Python 2.x. We'll start with control flow. Note, examples are explained for the Python 3 interpreter. Input function. Python has an input function which lets you ask a user for some text input. Program will resume once the user presses the enter key. Works in both 2x and 3x but the functionality is different for different versions of Python. Input of the user will be a string in Python 3x. Let's start with some examples. Nowadays there are hardly any programs without any input. Yet, in most cases, input is from the keyboard. In Python case, Python provides a function called input which has an optional parameter which is a prompt string. Here, in this case, enter your name is a prompt string. If the input function is called, the program flow will be stopped until the user has given the input from the keyboard and presses the return key. Remember the prompt string is always optional in python input of the user will be returned as a string without any changes in this case name and age are the two play are the two variables which holds the strings ravi and 35 input of the user will be returned as a string without any changes if you want to transform those input function we can use either casting function or a eval function remember the text of the optional parameter that is the prompt will be printed on the screen and always be optional so we may or may not give that prompt string we can discuss about this type casting functions later but we will discuss about the eval function now what is eval function eval function evaluate the type of the input from the user say age is equal to eval of input from the user say input enter your age suppose the user has given the prompt say 35 so age gives me 35 here you can see 35 is an integer so string has been evaluated to integer let's go to another function called type type function returns the class type of an argument passed used for debugging purpose used to check the argument type like int float string or list let's have some examples of type type of string hello gives me a class type of string you can see here class string similarly a type of some integer say double say some integer gives me class type of integer you can also go with float type of some float value gives me a class float you can also check with other examples like list, dict and everything. Here is an example for type list. List starts with square brackets 1, 2, 3, 4. Use me a class list here. Here are some, some more examples of input function as well as evaluate function have taken a variable called a and inside the input function I have taken a prompt string as and check the type of the input so user gets a prompt check the type of the input and with the user gives the prompt as say 25 type of a gives me a string because input function always returns me a string If you use evaluate, the input from the user has been evaluated and returned to the variable a as 
an integer here in this case. Here are some few more examples dealing with input function as well as evaluate function. Now just check with say some string Ravi. Type of a use me a string here. Similarly, for the list input, say 1, 2, 3, 4, type of A gives me a string as well because everything is a string for the input function. Let's start with another function called print. Print syntax is print. Print takes arguments, objects, separator, and file. File is equal to sys.std out flash is equal to false. Here, objects is a value to be printed on the screen. Separator is the value to be printed between these objects. By default, the separator will be a space. After values are printed, end is printed. By default, end, end takes new line character. Take some examples for the print function. Open the Python interactive shell. Print of 1, 2, 3, 4. Use me the output as 1 space 2 space 3 space 4. Coming to print function, print function may or may not take arguments. If you give a blank argument, it will print a new line character. Take one more example, say print 1, 2, 3, 4 and give a separator as hash, double hash. Let's try to print it. It gives me 1, double hash 2, 2, double hash 3 double hash 4. Take another example where you need you have to print 1, 2, 3, 4 separator by a dollar or some other uh, special character. It will go with dollar and end it with say ampersand. And try to print it. We can see the output here one dollar two dollar three dollar and four and with ampersand take one more example say print print i'll go with say hello hello world hello world is at the terminal output print 1 multi multiplied by 2 integer multiplication print we can see here it's a string repetition hello is been written thrice hello 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 we call this operator as a string repetition operator this star aster asterisk Similarly, we can also concatenate two strings, say hello plus world. This is a concatenation operator. Coming to another example, say print 6 divided by 5 gives me 1.2. Always remember Python 3x shell, we always get a float value.
Similarly, if you divide 6 by 5.0, we'll get the same thing, 1.2. In case of Python 2, we'll get it as 1 integer. Let's go with another subtopic condition statements. If condition syntax. If and there will be a condition and there will be a colon. Condition say a less than or greater than 10 followed by a statements. This condition should return either true or false. Remember always T is caps and F is caps in true and false boolean. Statements can be a number of things. If else condition syntax. If followed by condition, followed by colon, followed by statement 1, else it will go to statement 2. So when con condition becomes true, it will go to statement 1. When the condition becomes false, it will go to statement 2. Similarly, if elif else condition syntax. If condition 1, it goes to statement 1. Elif condition 2, statement 2. Elif condition 3, statement 3. Else, it goes to statement 4. Elif and else part in, is optional in Python. Conditions can be boolean expression, one or more implies true or zero implies false. Let's have some examples. Say if one say print something. Print hello. else say print y as you can see the condition is 1 so it's always true it will print hello here output will be hello Always remember the indentation in if if statements and else statement. If should be in the base level of the sorry, else should be at the base level of if here. Let's have some one more example. Say take a variable called first underscore check and assign true value true boolean to it. First check is equal to true. Start with if condition if a condition stays condition checks for first underscore check is equal to or sorry colon and try to print something print first check is true oh there is an error syntax error missing parentheses in call to print remember in python version 3.7 parenthesis is mandatory so i will check that i will redo it print first check is true here the first check is true so it will print it print first check is true take one more example say second underscore check is equal to false if second underscore check colon try to print something print hello or else it will go to the else part as second check is false here. So it will be evaluated at the if condition and it will go to the else part. You can see here it is evaluated and it goes to the else part. Print by. 
take one more example spam is equal to foo check whether if spam is equal to is equal to foo colon print spam is foo here we are trying to check whether if, if spam is foo come to optional else part else print spam is not foo spam is not foo here you go we got output like spam is foo let's do an integer check say int check is equal to 2 if int check is equal to is equal to check with 1 so it will be a false print print check is 1 else print check is 2 or I will go with elif I will check for one more condition say int underscore check I will try to print and in check is 2 so here the condition satisfied so it will print in check is 2 here in this case Always remember else if and else part is optional python condition st always return a boolean let's have one task give an integer perform the following conditions if it if a given integer is odd print odd number if a given integer is even and in includes a range of 1 to 50 print between 1 to 50 if it is even an inclusive range of 50 to 100 print between 50 to 100 and if it is even and greater than 100 print greater than 100 let's take a variable called num accept the input from the user keyboard eval function and input function enter a number Let's take the input from the user say if check for the odd number number modulus 2 is equal to is equal to number modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 1 so it will check for the odd number print the given number is odd elif number modulus of 2 is equal to 0 and in range of 1 greater than is equal to num 
and less than or equal to less than 50. Print the given number is even and inside the range 1 to 50. between 1 to 50 elif num modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 2 0 and in range 50 to 100 50 less than or equal to num num less than or equal to 100 100. If the condition satisfies, say print, your number is even and between 51 to 100. Between 51 to 100. Else, go to default thing say print the number is even and greater than 100 greater than 100 Let's try to run the program. Go to command prompt, type python space f dot the file name dot py. It says can open a file if dot py. Just go to the path, try to run it again. Enter the number, say 34. Given number is even and between 1 to 50. Enter another number, say 189. The given number is odd. Enter a number 56. Given number is even and between 50 to 100. Enter another number 1. Given number is odd. Instead of AND logical operator, we can also use ampersand ampersand here. And R type symbols. These are the logical operators in Python. Let's take another task. Say check for the leap year of the given input. Let's Take the input from the user keyboards and assign it to a variable called year. Year is equal to eval of input of give enter a enter the year. if year modulus 4 is equal to 
zero and Your modulus 100 is equal to 0 or you can also do with nested if if your This is an example for nested if always remember the level level should be always be indented say print given year is a leap year If these three conditions satisfies, it will print given year is a leap year. If the year modulus 400 is not equal to 0, it will print given year is not a leap year. This else part is at the level year modulus 100. So if that condition is false, it will go to this else part. Else not a leap year. else print not a leap year this else part is at the level of year modulus 4 let's save it and try to run Open the command prompt, type python space Let's go to the required path Python check underscore leap underscore year Python space Enter Enter the year Say 2014 It's not a leap year Enter the year 2000. Given year is a leap year. These are the examples for if loop in Python. If if condition statement in Python. If second check, these are all the examples we did in this session. Output of this if condition statement is in check is 2 because we have assigned in check is equal to 2.
Similarly, example 5, where we take a num from the input from the keyboard. If the number is greater than or equal to 0, it's a positive number. If the less than 0, it's a negative number. Suppose the user input is minus 2. It will go and check the condition and comes to the else part and prints negative number. Similarly, an example 6. Example 6 take and enter a number say 100. If 100 modulus of 2 is 0, it will print even number, else it will print odd number. In this case, 100 modulus 2 is always 0, so it's an even number. Example 7. Also takes input from the keyboard, enter the number, say 200. 200 modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0. It satisfies the condition and number is greater than 100. So, it comes to the print even number and greater than 100. Even number and greater than 100. Coming to example 8. Input. Enter the shopping cost say two hundred it will go to the go and check the total for two hundred and comes to the else part Shopping cost is between $100 to $150. Else you are rich. Try to run the program. Say python if underscore loop dot py. It says can't open a file. Just go to the path. Go into the example CD examples. Clear screen. Python space if underscore loop dot py. You can see here it's as it's prompting for the user input. The first example gave me first check is true. The second example gave me second check is false. Third example gave me foo, spam is foo. Fourth example is prompting for an user input. Sorry. Fourth example we got an output like print check is true. The fifth example is prompting for a user input. User input is minus 2, it's a negative number. And coming to example 6, it's prompting for an input from the user. The prompt is 100. 100 is an even number. Example 7, and the prompt is 200. Even number and greater than 100. Similarly, example 8, enter a shopping cost, given, given the prompt is 200, you are rich. These are few examples of if condition statements.
we'll have the range here say 51 to 100 101 to 150 say 101 less than or equal to total and total is less than or equal to 150 it's in the range now Now coming to the other sequence type called range. Range takes a mandatory argument a stop. Range also takes one more argument like start, stop and step. Start and step are both optional. Rather than being a function, range is actually immutable sequence type in Python 3x. In Python 2x, range, range function returns me a list. examples of range sequence range of 3 choose me 0 1 2 in python 2x but in python 3x range of 3 gives me a range object range of 0 comma 5 where 0 is stop start and 5 is stop so in this sequence we'll have a list like 0 1 2 3 4 always remember start is inclusive and stop is exclusive if you did not mention the start by default it takes 0 where 0 is start and 5 is end in this example here you go start is always inclusive and end is always exclusive range of 5 here we did not mention any stat so by default it should take from 0 so our list is starts with 0 and ends with 4 default start is 0 coming to another example say range of 1 comma 5 and we have also mentioned a step length step length of 2 so the output should be 1 3 1 and 3 because here we have mentioned the step length as 2 so our list increments by 2 here one is start here and comma end phi is end and we are increasing the step length by 2 Here the step length mentioned is 2 which will be from the start and stop of the list. A 
f step length is not specified it will be default to 1 List function returns me uh, returns the uh, list of the range. Take a fresh drag to shell. Take one example, say list of. I'll also type check it say type of range 3 it returns me class range so range gives me an immutable sequence type in Python 3x if you want to convert that immutable range sequence to list we have to use the function list list of range 3 Use me a list zero one two a list of range zero comma three. Let's give the same list zero one two list of range of minus 7 to 5 so it starts with minus 7 minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 2 so on up to 4 it's a bit like an arithmetic progressions in mathematics list of range range of minus 9 to 10 so the step length is 3 so our list will be start with minus 9 minus 6 minus 3 the step length is 3 here go go on up to 9 take another example say list of list of range of 7 to 1 here the start is 7 and end is 1 but the step length is minus 1 so 7 6 it's in decremental as the step length is minus list of range of minus 7 minus sorry minus 3 2 minus 7 here we go it returns an empty list because the start is start is greater than the end always remember start should always be less than the end range of minus 9 to 8 decremental minus here we go the start is minus 9 but it is decremental minus 9 if you decrease if you decrease it it's it goes on with the automatic progressions like minus 9 minus 10 it never comes back to 8 so it written as an empty string and coming to one more subtopic, ternary operator in Python. Python also supports this ternary operator similar like C, C++ and as well as Java. 
syntax of this ternary operator. Ternary operator takes on true if expression else on false. So thing say hi print hi if condition satisfied say if space if a get the than 10 else if true else print by so if this at this example it will print high go to the Python interactive shell legacy way of writing a script say a comma b is equal to 1 comma 2 if a is greater than b say print a is greater than b else print A is less than B. You can see here, it's A is less than B. It's legacy way of doing. By trying with ternary operator, say print A less than B, and comes the condition if A less than B space and comes the else else print a greater than b you can see the syntax on true if expression else on false a is greater than b print a less than p sorry for that it should be the other way around actually so just change this print say a greater than and b and else should be a less than b you can see here a less than b and this is the ternary operator in python 